You haven't worked with Kevin Durant and Steph Curry. How are they the same and how are they different? There's, there's three traits that I've noticed with all high performers in basketball and business and everything in between. The first was the lesson I learned from Kobe. They respect the process, they respect the fundamentals, they respect that you have to get in reps. Like they understand that there's no quick fix to being excellent at anything. So they respect the fundamentals. Number two, they do a masterful job of blending confidence with humility. They earn the right to be confident because they put in the work during the unseen hours. You know, a guy like Stephen Curry, I can't fathom how many millions of shots he's made in empty gyms when no one is watching, you know, since he was a teenager. So he puts in that work to earn the right to be confident. But they also have a, a humility, and humility is what allows them to be coachable, what allows them to stay open to feedback, but most important, humility is what allows them to say, no matter how good I currently am, I can still get better. Like even if you say I'm gonna be the best shooter in the history of the game, I know I still can improve a little bit and that takes humility. So they, they blend those together. And then the other thing is they have a strong appreciation for the process. They're very clear on the goals that they want to accomplish, but they understand that the way to do that is to focus on the steps. Don't focus on the goal, focus on the day to day. So a guy like Kevin Durant or Stephen Curry wakes up and says, what can I do today that's gonna inch me closer to this massive goal that I have? And whether that massive goal is to win an NBA championship or to be the best shooter of all time or whatever it may be, all they focus on is what can I do today? To, well, I have a workout this morning. How can I perform this workout and with the focus and intensity that will get me a little bit closer to whatever that goal is? And that's something I've noticed amongst all high performers. Now the difference is they also have the self-awareness to know where they're unique, to know how they operate best. You know, they've refined and they've tweaked and they've tried. So, you know, Kevin Durant's morning routine will be different than Stephen Curry's. But what they share is they both understand the importance of starting your day in a way that's gonna set you up for success, but they don't try to carbon copy anybody else. The standards we set in our life, in every area of our life, as a spouse, as a parent, as a speaker, as a business owner, as an executive, the standards we set today ultimately determine who will be tomorrow. You know, knowing that you put the work in and have the confidence to let it show. Um, what I tell people is just be the best version of yourself in anything that you do. You don't have to live anybody else's story. Um, sometimes people make it seem like you have to have certain prerequisites or or a crazy life story in order to be successful in this world. Um, but the truth is, you, you really don't. It doesn't matter where you come from, what you have or don't have, what you lack, what you have too much of, but all you need to have is an undying passion for what you do or what you choose to do in this life and a relentless drive and the will to do whatever it takes to be successful in whatever you put your mind to.